when you walk into Wesley Church. There's a strong feeling that comes over you. A strong feeling of God's presence. When you know what the founders of this church went through and the hard work they did to build this place, this congregation, it helps guide you to do the Lord's work, to do more of the Lord's work. When the United States Civil War ended in 1865 and the 13th Amendment to the Constitution was passed by Congress, this declared an end to slavery in the United States. And as former slaves start to celebrate their newfound freedom, some in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Think to prior years when they would sit in the balcony of the First United Methodist Church each Sunday, where the white minister would inform them that the Bible said that the white man was their master. But now at the end of slavery, the then called Negroes would no longer attend that church where they were forced to sit in the balcony. They would meet in the nearby forest. There they were taught by other Negroes who had learned to read the Bible. Here they learned that the Bible stated that all men were meant to be free. Now since, since we all agree, how is your men's meet me here Friday and sunset so we can start the planning how we have our own church? Working together to save enough money to purchase land, they cut trees and floated logs down the Mississippi River for processing at the sawmill. And in 1866, their first church building was completed, named Wesley Chapel Methodist Episcopal Church. This modest wooden structure stood until 1882 when it was destroyed by a storm. The second structure, which ultimately destroyed by fire, was housed in the area's first public school for African Americans. Although another brick building served the church for several decades, it was damaged beyond repair due to Hurricane Betsy in September of 1965. Today's structure was completed in 1966. Still located in downtown Baton Rouge, it sits on some of the most valuable land in the city. After its original founding, Wesley Church quickly gained a reputation for the music coming out of its sanctuary. United Methodist Church has a strong history of dynamic pastors.
Wesley, I need you to stand and begin to press on through every storm. Press on when it's raining and when it's not. Press on when you got heartache and when you got pain. Press on when things seem right and when things seem wrong. Press on even in the midst of it all. Keep pressing on. Things will get better if you don't give up. You know, I just be walking around the house sometime. My wife said, well, you said something? Yeah, I'm just praising God. You know, I'm just walking around giving him glory. I'm just walking around thanking him for all of his goodness. You know, I don't have everything that I want, but I have what I need. And I just walk around saying, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, you didn't have to, but you did. And every now and then, you should be able to connect with your transfer and say, Holy Spirit, I need you to move in my life. You cannot live the Christian life without a witness. Because to live this life, that's why we come to church. To make sure that the things that we encountered out there in the world and the things that we believe that the world does not believe, we come to the church to make sure we do a check-in to look around that there are some other people that believe what we believe and try to struggle in a way that we are trying to struggle so that we know we ain't crazy. But God will never, ever leave you or I without a witness. And that's what we need today. Just like their post-slavery predecessors, the congregation of the church and their various programs is always ready and willing to give of themselves to help their community and continue Jesus' teachings. For over 158 years, Wesley United Methodist Church has been a force in the Baton Rouge community that will continue to honor its past while building the future. ask me what of my work makes me most proud or made me most proud I could say honestly that it was working on the banner committee of this church I belong to the United Methodist women and I enjoyed it but creating those banners was my pride and joy and if you want to see some of the work of my hands just cast your eyes around the walls of this church <laughs>